What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are discussing the two most common methods to conduct a rifle reload. That being breaking the rifle down into your workspace to conduct that reload, and the other is keeping it in your shoulder pocket oriented towards the threat. Which of those two is most effective? Well, stick around and let's find out. All right, if there is one thing that we all know about the firearms community, it is that we love to argue. And we like to argue about pretty much anything and everything, but what is typically lacking from those arguments or those discussions is just context. And a prime example of that is, which is the best or most effective method to conduct a rifle reload? And as with pretty much anything, you need to know why you're doing something before you decide to just blindly follow the advice of somebody you see on the internet, some random person like me. Believe it or not, guys, I am not the end-all be-all of information. In fact, there are a bunch of other better shooters than I am on the internet. But I do have 12 years law enforcement experience, four of which on a SWAT team. So the information I'm about to give you today is just what I've derived over the years through my training and experience in law enforcement. Nothing more, nothing less than that. But before we move on, you should understand that shaving a quarter of a second or a half a second off of your reload time, in all likelihood, guys, that's not going to change the result or the outcome of whatever incident you're in. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't train it. We always want to be as proficient as we possibly can at all skill sets, no matter how unlikely they may be. And when we're discussing rifle reloads, specifically breaking it down into your, your workspace versus just keeping it in your shoulder pocket, Believe it or not, guys, they both have benefits, but your situation is gonna determine whether the benefits of one outweigh the other. And I'll break that down for you a little bit. If I was to keep my rifle in my shoulder pocket, I'm reducing the number of steps in the reload process. And by that, I mean, I'm not breaking it down and then having to conduct the reload, punching back out on target, re-getting my shoulder pocket and reacquiring my sight picture. So just keeping it shouldered does shave some split seconds off of your time. All right, comparing the time difference between keeping it in your shoulder pocket versus breaking the rifle down on a timer. Starting with it in the pocket. Here we go. Got a little wild with there, got a little hung up. Time is 3.01. 3.01, and now we're gonna do the same exact thing, except I'm gonna break the rifle down instead of leaving it in my shoulder pocket and compare those two times. All right, same thing, breaking the rifle down this time. And the time for that, 3.54. So almost an exact half a second difference. So there is a time advantage to keeping the rifle in your shoulder pocket, but there are some disadvantages to that as well. And there is one more benefit to keeping it shouldered, and that is you're allowing your magwell to stay vertical to the ground. Is it vertical? I don't know, but you're gonna let gravity do the work for you. It's going to drop the magazine. So you avoid one of those situations, those embarrassing situations, where you miss time depressing the mag release, your mag gets stuck in there, you gotta do the wiggly thing, or you got to actually strip the magazine, add one more step to the reload process, and ultimately slow you down even more. So 
keeping your rifle in your shoulder pocket when conducting that reload, it is effective if you are gonna be remaining in a static position or say for example, you're in a close quarters environment and you have that advantageous position that you just don't wanna give up and you don't wanna take your muzzle off of the target. But the downside is, and this is a major downside, conducting reloads on the move. Keeping it in your shoulder pocket is unrealistic. It's not a stable shooting platform, so you're not gonna be running from side to side while your rifle's in this position and to be and be effective at all. And typically when you're running, you're running laterally, meaning side to side from cover to cover. So if you're running from side to side, any time savings you would have had by keeping your muzzle oriented towards the threat is now gone because as you're turning, your muzzle is now oriented that way, which leads me to the next method, which is breaking the rifle down into your workspace to conduct that reload. Although this may be slightly slower in some situations, you have much more control of the rifle and you're not battling with the weight of the muzzle to keep it stable while you're on the move. The rifle is its pretty much in line with your arm and you can conduct an effective reload almost while at a dead sprint when you're doing this. And there is one more reason that this may not even be an option. It might be the only way to conduct a reload and that is if you are behind cover and your back is up against something you, so you can't move backwards, you might have to break your rifle down just to have your muzzle clear that piece of cover to conduct that reload, then get back out on target and actually engage the threat. So it might not even be an option. This may be the only way you can actually effectively conduct a reload. And guys, I can already hear you now. You're saying, yeah, but you shouldn't be hugging your cover. And yes, that is true. You shouldn't try to hug your cover. You should try and stand off a little bit, but you can't always control your environment. And there may be situations where your back's pushed up against the wall or you're in a confined space and you just have no option but to be pressed up and hugging up on your cover. Or maybe you're facing multiple adversaries and they're each coming out on your side and you do have to press in so that they don't get the angle on you and you're overexposed. Ultimately, guys, I'm not saying one is better than the other. As with pretty much everything, it just all boils down to your current situation and to your current environment. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, it helps us out a lot. If you hit that subscribe button, let me know in the comments below if you think I am completely wrong or let me know in the comments below if you think I'm right. Either way, I appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next one.